Uh, hi, in this video, we will see how to create prior to lookup rules for cases. To do that, we'll do the following steps. First, we will have to switch the application scope to customer service management. Then we will create a data lookup table as child table to DL matcher. This is out of the box table. Then all lookup uh, tables will become child table to this table. Then we need to add three fields, impact, urgency, and priority, because we want to set priority based on impact and urgency. Uh, we can look at the incident data lookup table uh, as a reference uh, you know, to understand how the choice options are set and data type and so on. And once we create these three columns, then we will add choices to these three columns by pointing them to the choice lists on task or case tables. Uh, and once that is done, then we create a data lookup definition and add setter and matcher fields. Now, in the matcher field uh, for priority, we have to select this checkbox, always replace. So let's see how this functions, and then uh, we'll also look at the configuration done in the backend. So this is the case record. And again, out of the box, you'll not see these two fields in the form layout, so I have to add them. Uh, now, if you change the impact to medium and urgency to high, then it is P2. If you make high and high, it becomes critical, right? Now let's look at the configuration. First step is to create the lookup table. So to do that, change the application scope to customer service, as I mentioned. So once that is done, we need to create a new custom table, which is this one here. Give the name as case priority data lookups. So I'll show the definition of this table, configure table, and uh, because it is in the scope SN customer service underscore case, so that prefix automatically gets populated. You can give this as a name or any other name of your choice. I try to keep the name as DL underscore U underscore priority, uh, but we can also call it as DL underscore priority. Uh, again, I kept this name because uh, the incident one has this name, but you can also say DL underscore case underscore priority. And it can be any of those. And then it extends this table data lookup matcher rules, which is nothing but DL underscore matcher. So that's the first step. Now we need to create these three columns, priority, impact, urgency. All will be of type choice. This column name will auto populate uh, with U as a prefix. So U underscore priority, U underscore impact, U underscore urgency. And again, they'll all be in the customer service application scope. The max length is 40 for all of them. Now for each of these, we have to associate a choice list do that go to priority and then here in the choice list specification uh, you have to select choice table now for this choice table to appear you have to uh, click on this advanced view right if you see here the view is advanced which is why you are seeing the choice table option here otherwise you will not see that so once you click on advanced then you will see this choice table coming up then you select, uh, you have to select either case or task. Now for priority, you will be able to see uh, choice table as case. So if you see that, then you can use it. Uh, so what I mean by that is if you select case here, and if you see priority as a column, then you can use it. If you don't see it, then you can use the task table, right? So choice table, choice field, you make the selection, choice is drop down with none. And similarly, We'll repeat the steps for other two columns, which is impact and urgency. So this is impact. Uh, and again, you have to be in advanced view to see the choice table and choice field. So we go here we have to we had to select task because when we selected case, impact was not available. So so task is fine because uh, case gets it from task. So this is impact here. And similarly, uh, if we go back here, for urgency also, same steps. So I'll close that. So for urgency also, again, we selected the choice table as task, and the choice field is urgency. So that completes setting up these three uh, custom fields, priority, impact, urgency. Next step is to create data lookup definition. So to do that, Click on data, look up definitions. And here, this is the definition, case priority lookup. 
So you select that, give it a name as case prior to lookup. Source table is case. Matcher table is a custom table that you have created in the previous steps, which is SN customer service case TL underscore U underscore priority or whichever table you have created. Now you can leave these choices there, like run on form change, run on insert. You can also say run on update if needed, but yeah, you can leave them on depending on how you want this lookup to function. And then there are two tabs, match a field definition and set a field definition. In the match a fields, you're giving which fields will be used for matching. And in the set a field, we're telling which field will be set as an outcome of this match, right? So here we have added two entries, urgency will match to urgency. And you can select exact lookup match. It will be fine as well because uh, uh, yeah, because the, the choice list to which they are referring to is same. So you can leave this or you can select this, which is fine. Now uh, I'm going to leave this uh, without checking it, right? Uh, and next is impact, select that. Same thing again, impact, impact. Again, don't check this. And finally, you have uh, set the field definition, which is priority. And again, priority and priority. Here you will see always replace because we want this to be updated whenever you change impact and urgency. So that's the last step in this configuration. So once you do that, then we can open a case, refresh it once. And as I mentioned, you have to make a form layout change to display these two as out of the box, they're not there. And then we will uh, change impact uh, and urgency and the priority gets updated. So before you actually uh, see this, you have to also create those uh, entries in the lookup table. So let's do that. So it automatically creates a module. So you can start typing case priority and you should see a module. So go here and I have added three options for now, like impact, priority, urgency. So depending on your priority mat metrics, you can add it. And also you can configure the list layout so that you will see them in the order that uh, you want to configure and then priority can be last and then impact urgency can be next to each other so impact urgency priority and you can also give an order to it uh, so if you have more than one rule matching then you can decide which will take the priority and so on uh, and yeah so I currently have only configured three now let's configure one more uh, let's look at the ones for incident as a reference. So here let's do let's kind of yeah put them next to each other. So so I have done and done for uh, okay let's sort this. So high high uh, medium high low high I have done that. So for impact high high medium high and low and high. So I will do high medium and let's see how it reflects on the case. So I select high as impact, medium as urgency. So high as impact, medium as urgency, high as impact. And then the priority has to be high as impact, medium as urgency, it has to be high. So let's select high here. Again, you can configure the form layout so that impact comes first, urgency comes second, right? Save it. So now we have high, high is critical, high, medium is uh, high, medium, high is also high. So let's look at that on the case form. Refresh it. So we have, we have configured uh, high and medium as, sorry, medium and high as high. So let's select medium as impact high as urgency and the priority is high. So it is reflecting on change, right? So that is how this configuration works. Let's do a quick recap. So first you'll switch your application scope to customer service management. Then you'll create a data lookup table as child table to DL matcher, add three columns, uh, impact, urgency, priority. Uh, you can use incident data lookup table as reference, uh, update three columns created in this step to have choice lists point, point to task or case choice options, depending on what you see in the dropdown. Now, for this to be visible, you have to be 
in advanced view and then create a lookup definition add setter and matcher fields then you also have to add add entries to uh, lookup table created in step one based on the priority matrix as per requirements and then finally you can test the changes in case form so that is how you will uh, configure uh, priority matrix uh, or using data lookup rules for case thank you for watching